here. Today I wanted to go over my final thoughts on the 2S brushless Tiny Whip build. Spoiler, it didn't go as planned. As many of you have seen in the initial build video, I did have some problems frying the flight controller. I did find the problem. It turns out that the flight controller and the ESCs were internally shorted uh, the screws were slightly too long that I was using and they were actually touching inside of the standoffs uh, creating the short which in turn fried the flight controller. Uh, that has since been corrected uh, and I did actually do another video on that build uh, to completion and I got to the point of where I had about 75% of it edited and almost ready to upload. Um, and I decided that that wasn't the right way to go with this video. Instead, what I wanted to do is tell you guys where I went wrong with this, so maybe this will help you with your builds down the road and you don't make the same mistakes that I did. The first thing that I ran into with this build was the weight. This little guy is extremely heavy for its size. Now if I get my scale out here, let me just get the whole thing loaded on here. As you can see, it's about 46 and a half grams. That's more than 20 grams heavier than a standard Tiny Whoop. It weighs a lot. The second problem that I've run into is these tiny 0703 motors are just incredibly fragile. If you look at them the wrong way, they literally break, and I'm not kidding. I ran into that issue with the jumper. This is the jumper X68S and this thing is horribly designed. Um, but I thought the initial concept and idea were good and that's why I decided to carry it through um, to the little crazy blue build. The issues with the jumpers are the motor bells installed on the underside of the motors. If you barely touch these things when the motors are spinning you just instantly burn out the motor. I flew this thing for about 20 seconds it flies horribly don't buy this don't buy the jumper you're just wasting your money. Um, I flew it for about 15 seconds 15 20 seconds it just flies bad I had a very minor crash in it hardly touched one of the motors and now it's burnt out and what do you know, you can't get a replacement motor for a Jumper X68. I don't know why. So this thing's pretty much dead in the water, which had then motivated me to build the little blue guy here. I did get it flying, uh, but unfortunately one of these motors is burnt out. Um, again, I hardly touched one of the motors while it was spinning. I had a minor crash and the motor's burnt out what are you gonna do? It is what it is. Another issue that I've run into with this build is the battery life. This thing is incredibly power hungry and I believe it's because of the F4 processor, the separate ESCs, uh, the brushless motors, the VTX, the camera, the OSD, just everything is sucking power and these little tiny batteries just they can't keep up with the demand that the electronics and motors are putting on them. I can get about 30 seconds of flight time before the battery voltage has dipped to the point that causes the flight controller to reboot and of course it just falls out of the sky at this point. Unfortunately this build isn't viable at this point and I'm gonna ask you guys if you have any suggestions any comments on how I could improve this build, please leave them below. Down the road in the future, I think I might try motors with a little bit less KV rating on them. That might help. But honestly, I'm not confident with the battery life. And just putting larger batteries on here isn't a solution because it already weighs so much. I'm kind of at a loss at this point, and I just... I'm not going to move forward with this any further. I'm sorry to let everyone down. I was super excited about this build. 
I thought this little guy was going to be a monster, but unfortunately, the largest oversight I had was the capabilities and the battery technology that we have available to us. And they just simply can't power this guy. That's it for this build for now. Uh, if I come up with any new ideas, anything new I want to try to try to get this little bugger in the sky again, I will definitely let you guys know. But other than that, that's all I got. So if you enjoyed this video, please click on that like. If you haven't already, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.